Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to the first episode of the Tour de France 2020. Yes, we are two months ahead of the Peloton, but we are going to be starting the virtual Tour de France today. This is the new Tour de France 2020 game. I released a video earlier on today, um, just looking at my first impressions of the game. I did the first stage of the McLaren Bahrain team, but we are going to be doing a full playthrough of the Tour de France, the 21 stages, once a day over the next three weeks, obviously seven days in a week, so this will take 21 days to complete, one stage per day, and hopefully with Team Ineos, formerly known as Team Sky, we are going to win the Tour de France 2020. Now we've got eight riders. I don't know if they're picked automatically for us. I'm not exactly sure, but of course we've got the four-time winner Chris Froome. Um, we've got other dry, other riders as well. Uh, Bernal, who won the general classification last year. We've got Grant Thomas, another winner. Um, do you want to alter your team before the start of the race? Yes, we will alter our team. So we've got Bernal, but bear in mind as well um, that Team Ineos are not licensed on the game. So I have put these guys. Um, in myself. So we've got Bernal, Thomas and Chris Froome. Um, I feel like this is probably the best team we've got, but let's just have a quick check. I don't think um, any of these other guys. I'm quite happy to continue with that team. So we've got Bernal, Thomas and Froome, the three big guys um, in the team, as well as Dennis and Kwiat Kwiatkowski. Yeah, I can't pronounce that one. Carapaz, Castroviejo and Goggen, uh, Gog Hagen Hart. So here we go. Team Ineos, let's go for the first stage of the Tour de France 2020. Hi guys, welcome to the briefing for this first stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. This stage is of no interest to us. Keep cozy inside the peloton. Have a good stage. So much like in my first impressions video uh, with the Bahrain McLaren team, it is seeming that we're just basically looking for um, a normal finish inside the peloton. So nothing too interesting today. So we start in Nice, um, going back to Nice, a very peculiar uh, route actually for this first one just free circuits never been done in a long time I don't think and obviously we go all throughout the stages um, all the way up to that 21st stage where we go to the Paris Champs-Élysées we've also got a time trial as well as it says which is an unpredictable test and we'll be using our best time trial riders um, for that but let's get cracking with the first one we'll play um, as normal I did do this stage in the first impression if you want to see my review of the, of the game and just general thoughts then make sure you do um, check that out now I don't know who I'm going to control in this not exactly sure and um, what rider I'm going to go for, but I'm not sure because this isn't as a, a, isn't really of um, particular interest to us. Just to gauge how well we're going to start this, um, I don't know who we're going to push with in terms of the rider that we're going for for the uh, the yellow jersey to win the tournament. But we'll figure that out, I think, a little bit um, throughout the tournament. It's going to be one of those three, I think. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think Grant Thomas, Chris Froome, or uh, is it Juan Bernal? I can't remember what his name is. I mean, criminal really, seen as he only won it. Uh, in 2019 but if you are looking forward to this series on the channel make sure to leave a like down below it really helps on new games like this um, if you do leave likes and comments it's, it's a free way to express your gratitude and if you subscribe as well you will get uh, a notification for your subscription box every day of the newest stages so yeah we've got Bernal uh, it's E Bernal I can't remember it might be you and Bernal I'm not exactly sure and um, Grant Thomas Carapaz Froome uh, I think we'll go with we'll go with Grant Thomas for the first stage. Obviously, we can change um, to other riders throughout. We're not going to do it real. We're not going to make this a massively long episode because it's not of of massive importance to us. But as you can see, here we go for the start of the Tour de France. It's a long tournament. A long tournament. A long. Uh, I guess. I guess. It suppose it's it suppose it is a tournament, isn't it? But uh, it's certainly an endurance, as you can see. In, in own on the back there, not Ineos, but uh, we are off. And we're just going to follow um, the pole in our team, Kowadkowski, in front of us. Now, I do have some knowledge of cycling. Um, I'm not the most experienced with cycling. I haven't got a hell of a lot of knowledge. But I've certainly got some knowledge. So, um, correct me if I am wrong, obviously, throughout this. So I'm absolutely okay with that. I'm not one of these if I'm wrong and go, oh, well, I'm... and start moaning. Um, but there's also already an attack from Reza from the, I think there's a VCB team. A few riders going out. As we've said, we're not interested, really. Um, in keeping anything above just being in the peloton. So we've got ourselves, Grant Thomas in 26th at the moment. Um, Bernal, let's have a look. 
Oh, let's not change rider. Well, Bernal's in 18th. We've got Garant uh, in 26th. Uh, they're all fairly close, so that's absolutely fine. Chris Froome, as you can see, right behind us as well. And this is going just okay at the moment. So we'll just wait, really, until there's there's any significant change because it is a long race, obviously. Um, so we'll see what happens in this, and I'll keep you updated. But Chris Froome is uh, going a little bit. Not exactly sure why he's making any sort of break. But he's the lead, I think, in this. Carapaz has actually gone. Wow, Carapaz is in third. Um, again, not exactly sure why he's going for it. But let's see. Let's change to Carapaz. Uh, let's not change to Carapaz, actually, because... I'm bound to get it wrong. I'm bound to muck it up. I'll let Carapaz run his own race. But this isn't really too important for us today. Um, we'll just follow this guy up the hill. Kwiatkowski's one of the riders we want to keep with with Grant. Um, just important we don't get mugged today, basically. As long as we stay in the peloton and don't lose too much ground to the breakaway, um, we should be absolutely fine. Well, this is fascinating. We didn't see this in the first race we'd done. Uh, the peloton has actually caught up. To the breakaway. In the first race I did of this, there was about a sort of 90 second lead that the the breakaway had. But uh, no, there's no breakaway. So the peloton is exactly with um, everybody else. So just have a quick update on how everybody's doing. Um, I, it would be great if there was a quick um, access to the standings. I don't know if there is. Race info, relays. Not really bothered about that. Again, not exactly sure how we do find the... Um, is it on start, perhaps? Classification, that's what we're looking at. So, general classification. We're all pretty much up there okay. Uh, this is in order. Because obviously everybody's... Oh, obviously, yeah, because there's there's no result. I'm looking for... Um, just looking for the... Uh, the positions, really. But our mission, um, interestingly, is to... W I didn't realise this before. I'm glad I've just looked at this. Bernal is the rider we're going to have to push with throughout this Tour de France. Um, he is the one that seemingly um, they want us to push with, which is absolutely fascinating. But, so we're 16th for the moment, keeping up there with Grant Thomas. I mean, I know there's no massive expectation here to do anything, but... Oh, that wasn't great, was it? We'll get the aerodynamic position. And we're doing okay at the moment. Don't think any of our guys are around the back, but uh, we'll have to see. Again, I haven't played a Tour de France game for years, uh, since about 2012. So this is a real enjoyment for me. Um, thank you very much to the guys uh, and the developers for giving me the chance to play this with a free code. Obviously, there'll be no bias towards my coverage of this game. Never is when I get a code like this. I'll obviously always be true to what I think of the game. But uh, yeah, we're doing well at the moment. 140 kilometers to go. There's a tad of a breakaway. I mean, 12 seconds isn't much, but I guess that could... Go up. Goggenhart's actually the man at the front of that breakaway, so he's he's going here. But Grant is the rider with her at the moment. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to change. We're going to have a look. Um, we're going to have a look and see if we can change to... Um, where is he? There you go, Goggenhart. We'll change to him. Ah, right, okay. So his tempo is currently 100%. So we can tell him to wait for Bernal... Tempo, uh, what's everybody else on? What's everybody else on here? Persist without limit. Think we'll, well, we'll keep him how he is, but, um, we'll, we'll, well, hang on a minute. Let's go to Goggenhart. Let's uh, change rider and try and build up a little bit of a lead with him. Why not? So, he is the leader of this stage at the moment. Probably won't be for long, but so uh, we've got a little bit of a lead. There's the car at the front. But as you can see, Goggen has indeed got the lead at the moment. So, an interesting breakaway being had here. But we'll just keep it nice and calm. There's a 16 second gap to the guys behind. Annoyingly, there we are. I thought we could see behind. There's the guys are hot behind. There's actually quite a gap now to the peloton. And there is an attack, but I'm not interested in that. I'm just going to keep... As we are. So those are the two from that other team behind. Again, not bothered if they take the lead from Golgan Hart here. But we've uh, 20 kilometers to go in this first sprint. Um, well, not in the first sprint, but in this first in this um, first loop, if you like. We're just going to follow Barbero and not uh, put ourselves under any pressure. Just follow him. Get the slipstream behind him, as Visho has got with us as well. It's a top three breakaway. And, uh, well, why not? I mean, 
we should be, we should stay in the peloton here, but we, we can try stuff. We can give a bit of a different strategy. There's a 60 second lead we've got now, and we'll have to see how we get on. We're going to fast forward though until we get round the first loop. So coming to the end of the first loop here, and we do lead with Gog and Hart. We'll have a quick look at how the rest of us are doing in a minute, but we're going to try and get out the slipstream of Barbero. As you can see, just the three of us ahead. There's a whopping lead now that they, we've got over the peloton. A 2 minute 37 second lead. And we'll have a look where the rest of our guys are at the moment. But why not? We'll go over it with Gog and Hart. Here we've got a little bit of a decline, so we might as well use that. And as you can see, this is the first, uh, first loop done. There's three loops to be done today. Just behind the pace cart. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how the rest of them are getting on. So that is, well, one kilometre away. We'll keep with Gog and Hart until we get to the line. Gehege, it might be a different now. Apologies if I pronounce that terribly. But uh, yeah, we'll then get to the rest of the guys and see how they're getting on inside the peloton. But a strong lead we've got here. We've arrived after the first loop and we'll leave him to his own devices. Um, what uh, instructions are we giving him? We'll go back on to... We'll uh, have a look at our... Uh, the man that we want to win the general classification. But now, as you can see, um, he's straight in there. Let's have a look at what our instructions are going to be for Gog and Hart. Uh, instructions. So 90% will get his tempo um, to 80% now. So Grant Thomas on 80, 80. These all on 80. That's good to see. And yeah, we're doing absolutely fine at the moment. Uh, Bernal in 30th. And I'll see you guys in a little while. Well, we've got a good chance of two points here. Oh dear, we are running out of uh, energy here. So we'll change to our, our drink and get some of that down us. Because obviously we've got the mountain climb now. We can get a couple of points here. But uh, we need to drink a bit of our drink because it seems we're losing a little bit of control here. Two kilometres to go till we get to the top of the hill. Be two points for us if we can get there first. Oh, we've blown up. Oh no. This isn't good. Let's get some of that drink down us. This is not good to see. There we go. Back in the game. And we'll just line ourselves up behind Barbero. Try and have a breather for a little bit. And then hopefully get uh, two points out of this climb. Just try and get some of our momentum back. Obviously all that um, pink gel if you like has gone now. So that's a little bit of a worry. But our main objective isn't to win this race, ultimately. Our main objective is to is to stay inside the peloton. There's the three of us here in the lead. There's a few behind, but there's a whopping lead that this breakaway have got now to the, uh, to the main peloton, which is absolutely amazing, really. Get some of that uh, blue gel down us as well. Oh, whoops. We don't need to ride for now. Okay, that's fine. Don't quite think we're going to end up with that two points, unfortunately, here. Nope. Oh, well. So, Barbero comes along in first. Visho is second. And that is the hill climb done. So, we've come across it in seventh. Not too bad. Um, I think Gog and Hart might need to chill out now because or else there might be a bit of a problem. So, we'll go back to Bernal. Change ride and we'll give... And Gog and Hart some instructions just to cool it down a little because I do worry about his uh, his health, if you like, in this race. Confirm 70% tempo. And we'll fast forward a little bit. I mean, there's a massive breakaway here. Four minutes nearly. Amazing, really, that is. Uh, Manzin, is that the leader? I think it is. No, Barbaro leads from Petit, uh, Greeple, and uh, Gog and Hart's in there as well. Ah, right, that's the second and third group. Understood, understood. There's the peloton, though. And we'll come back to you in a little while. So we've jumped a little bit further forward. The gap between the breakaway and the peloton is starting to decrease. But it's good to see our guys are all well placed in this peloton. As you can see, Castro Viejo just behind us. Ourselves, obviously, Benal. We've got Dennis in there, Carapaz, Froome and Karakowski. So I think all of our eight riders, there's seven of us here. Obviously, Gog and Hart is at the front. Um, I think we've gone past the feed stage. So at least um, he'll get another feed while Gog and Hart at the front of the field. But if we can finish sort of in the top 30, um, I mean, again, there's no real expectation. You heard what uh, the team manager said, if you like. Said, you know, there's no expectation for us here. Just 
Have a good first stage. Don't overexert yourself, which Mott Goggenhart might well have done. But it's absolutely fine. The breakaway is up in the tempo. He doesn't need to, doesn't intend to be caught up that easy. So, as of the first running of this in my first impressions video, it'd be no surprise that the breakaway will win this at quite a canter. It'd be good if Goggenhart was up there. I mean, he's up there. It might be the right or wrong decision to put him up there. But ultimately, he is up there. So, we might as well uh, give him a little bit of a chance. Well, I did miss that, apologies, but Goggenhart managed to gain seven, himself seven points uh, on the intermediate sprint, so good for him. He's in the third group, 50 seconds behind uh, the leaders. That's good to see, and we'll change ride to him, see how he's getting on. Seven points in the intermediate sprint. I fast-forwarded it before I knew it. Um, it, it, it had all gone. So his seventh place is um, he's Goggenhart and doing pretty well. We can't argue with that at all. He's in the fourth group. He is 47 seconds behind the leaders. Is there anybody else with him? No, he's kind of a, a lonely soldier really up there at the moment. But if he can get well placed uh, in the top 10, that's not too bad at all for him. He's going to try and catch up with this group ahead of us. We've got a little bit of a group just ahead. We might as well try and catch them up with Goggenheart. Move out the way. These pillocks getting in the middle of the road, I don't know. We'll have a little bit of our pink gel after this as well, because uh, it's going to exert ourselves quite a bit to catch up, but equally we can follow them. And I actually think this might well be the first group, you know. And they're riding quite hard, as you can see. We're exerting ourselves a little bit too much, potentially, to catch up to them. But it'll be worth it, because we can follow them. We just need to get up to them as quick as we can. And there we go, we can follow Simon there. There we go. So we'll just get some of that pink gel down us. Your breakaway companions look like the ones to up the pace. Well, there you go. But we are in that lead group now with Gog and Hart. There are one... So how many of there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us. Obviously, the intermediate sprint is coming up at the moment. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. As you can see, there's a two minute, 43, uh, two minute 33 gap from this breakaway that we're in to the peloton behind. There's a uh, 1.7 kilometre wait now until um, we get to... This into it get to this uh, sprint. I don't know what it's called. You seem to be the best puncher in the group. You should be able to move to the front. Well, we're just following at the moment. We're 1.3 kilometres away. We'll have a little bit more of our drink just to make sure we're in full preparation for this for this climb. And we're going to go. Try and control the effort. This is the hard thing on this Tour de France game. Try and control your effort. Try and get inside that uh, top group. We don't want to blow up though. So we get over it in uh, fifth place. That's not too bad. Not quite the top two that we're looking for. We're going to blow up if we're not careful here. There we go. We control our pace now. Get some of the other pink gel down Gog and Hart. Sixth place at the moment in that third group. This is not bad at all and he can relax a little bit now in the aerodynamic position. And uh, I think that not much is going to happen really until the end of the race. So, oh, that was good. That was great. Right into the wall. Luckily he didn't fall off there. But we'll uh, skip until the end of the race now. Um, it depends whether we want to go with Gog and Hart or whether we uh, look at the guys in the peloton. We'll have to make that judgment when we get there. It's just an update from the peloton. Uh, the peloton is 1 minute and 15 behind this group. We lead with Gog and Hart at the moment. Those positions are just changing regularly. The show is just behind us. We are in that first group uh, with a relay of... Oh, hang on. Work with opponents. Yes, that's going to be the instruction. Uh, how do we see... There we go. Realise we've got this show, uh, Simon and Dillier all in there as well. All from four different teams. The breakaway did win in that first race, so potentially we've got a chance of... Doing well here, finishing the top for us, as long as you don't burn out completely. Might as well take a bit of that blue gel. Isn't going to hurt. But that group of Barbero is, well, poor Barbero all by himself in that second group. The Peloton not far behind him. And I think we'll go back to the Peloton um, and see how they're getting on. So there is Barbero, just in head ahead of us, so he's going to become part 
of this uh, Peloton group now. As you can see, I think it's Gog. We're going to go with Gog and Hart, but if I get that wrong, I do apologise. I'm going to record a few of these in advance, so it won't be till this video comes out that you can all scrutinise me. But it's 161 strong, this pet. Oh, for goodness sake. When you're not following someone, it's, uh, all of a sudden it becomes a right pain. But oh well. So, we're in 72nd with Bernal. Uh, we need to improve that a little bit. The breakaway apparently has some gas left. We've just told uh, Gog and Hart to work with his opponents, basically. That's just simple. A little bit of a decline, so we might as well use the aerodynamic position. But this is uh, going to be a fascinating race, I think, coming to the end. Oh, there's a faller there. Someone's fallen off, unfortunately. Never nice to see. Hopefully they're okay. We're not exerting any energy because we've got this aerodynamic position. With it being a downhill stretch. We're going to try and work our way through the field a little now. Very tough though, obviously, with it being so tight between everybody. Try and get back to the front of the... Oh, that's way too quick into there. Back into the top 30. And we'll just try and push our way through with the aerodynamic position. Seems there's not many using this, but it seems worthwhile to me. Just slow down for that corner. Put ourselves in the position. And there's a minute and nine gap. The Peloton should be there for the stage win. It's going to be fascinating. Can the breakaway win? It was uh, the breakaway that won in the previous race. But uh, we're just going to follow the guys ahead. See how we get on with Bernal. So 28 kilometres left. I'll probably come back to him. There's 15 of those left. And then we'll see the whole race finish. Well, it looks like Gog and Hart's out of it for the win. Uh, but he's in the second group of his own. I think he'll finish in the peloton. We've got Dillier, um, Simon and Vicio, the two at the lead. Gog and Hart just needs to probably cool down a little bit now. Uh, I'd probably say to wait for the following group. Again, there's not really much harm in doing that. I think now because... You know, he's out of the race for the lead. It'd be silly to exert himself just to finish in that uh, little group. But we've got Banal here, and we're just going to resume as we do. So there's a 1 minute 13 gap from the peloton to the breakaway. I'd very much doubt we'd catch them up now, but uh, we've just told Gog and Hart to wait for the group. Again, no point exerting himself for the stage win. Just make sure we're all inside the peloton. The important thing is that we all come out of this unscathed, the first stage. As I said, there's no expectation. Gog and Hart is just up ahead, so it was a spirited, a very spirited uh, attempt from Gog and Hart. Um, only a two-man breakaway. Now Simon's starting to slip as well, so Dillier, and I think Vichot is the only man there. And uh, Gog and Hart, after a brilliant spirited race, puts himself back into the peloton. No, dis uh, no disgrace there from him at all. And uh, as long as we finish inside this peloton, it should be absolutely fine. But it looks like Dillier and Vichot are going to finish at the front of this ride. 10 kilometres from the finish in the men in the lead. So they're about a kilometre ahead of everybody else here. But uh, no, this has been a good race. Really enjoyed it. Again, not really the most exciting stage because we just want stability. But uh, the stage will get a lot more exciting, obviously, when this man, Bernal, is needed to, to step up to the plate um, and different tactics come in. It's a long Tour de France, 21 stages, um, and I am really looking forward to it. So... The gap staying fairly consistent. Uh, three men back in that uh, battle for the lead. So Simon has got back into the battle for that lead. Or Simon. But uh, yeah, it's all fairly close. Let's see what our guys are doing. So we've got Bernal, Thomas. They're all they're all up there. I think the rest of the guys are probably a little bit further up. Um, I would say probably in this in this battle. But it's absolutely fine. You know, if we finish 92nd, it really doesn't matter. But... I'll just show you the sprint at the end. So 58 seconds. It's, uh, I don't think it's going to come down now unless those guys get absolutely knackered at the front. Going to put some effort into this just to try and catch up to the guys at the front of this peloton. So we want to be up there. Every second counts, obviously. 159 in this peloton now. So we have lost a couple, unfortunately. 46 seconds from here to the lead. Just trying to carve through now. As we do. Peloton's riding hard. Only five kilometres left for the guys in front. This is fascinating because the gap is dropping all the time. We're just squeezing behind our good friend and four-time winner, Chris Froome. 34 seconds now. It's not going to be enough. But look at them. They're just there. 
They are just there. This is going to be tight between the breakaway and the peloton. Maybe. I know it wasn't a priority, but just maybe we could well win this. Who knows? There is the breakaway just there. The gap is coming down all the time. Just points three of a kilometre now between us and the leaders. Carapaz is making a bit of a go for it ahead. But we're not going to take any stupid risks. We're just going to stay um, with Froome and Thomas now. This is going to be close. Very close. Two kilometres to go. Look at those guys in the lead. Look at them. They've lost it. The breakaway is going to lose here. 1.5 kilometres to go. And they're going. Everybody's going here. Just need to make sure we don't muck ourselves up here. One kilometre to go. We don't want to uh, use all of our energy up. Here we go then. Across the line. Where's it going to be for Bernal? We'll throw the bike over the line. And we crawl across the line in 46th place. Not too bad there. Can't complain. Goggenhart is, uh, well, oh dear. He's uh, really mucked it up. We'll finish the stage, though. I think Goggenhart had a bad end there. Obviously, uh, burned himself out far too much. Uh, but I think the majority of us, I don't know about Goggenhart, we'll have to see. But the rest of us finished all securely inside the peloton. Let's see. So, man's in his three kilometres to the finish. Unfortunate for him. We don't need to see that. Let's go to the results and let's see who's uh, got the first yellow jersey of this tournament. So the stage victory goes to Vivanti. Don't know what team he's with. Again, I'm not too familiar with the teams. But a stage win nonetheless. And with that stage win, I think I'm correct in saying that he'll get the first yellow jersey of the tournament. Obviously, he'll be going up there a few times for, on the podium. There you go. Yellow jersey for Vivanti. So, next up, Vivanti again. Get the general classification. The stage win. And also points classification. That's somebody else, I think. Well, different team altogether. Barbero gets uh, best climber. Another one of the teams I do recognise there. Young rider classification goes to Evan, Evan Ippo. Or Poe. And there you go. That's all the classifications are in the first race. Ooh, that's a shame. A little bit of a shame that, you know, we were all okay apart from Gog and Hart. It again started to struggle clearly at the end and clearly burned out. Um, we should have kept a little more of an eye on him, I suppose. But he finished in 118th place. So, oh well, a little bit of a shame. Uh, team classification, we were in, where were we? 18th, that's absolutely fine. Again, because the breakaway didn't win there, it's very, very close between us and everybody else. Um, Vivanti, Demare and Sagan, the top three. From that stage, general for classification there. Uh, Vivanti leads by four seconds. And then Demare, Sagan and Van Aert. God, there's a lot of weird names here. Um, so, between each stage, your riders recover energy depending on their recovery rate. And I think Gog and Hart, we might well have to keep him back in the next stage because he's knackered. But we'll just try and keep him monitored, stay inside the peloton. Um, and that is all that matters. But um, in the next video, we'll move on to the second stage. Uh, the Nice Hunt Pays. So I'll show you a little bit of a preview. And uh, we will have the, the little commentary at the start, the, the briefing for this. And we'll also have that in the second episode, just so you guys can get a refresh of what's going on. So let's listen to what we need to do in this second stage. It's a day in the mountains. The finish isn't decided at the top of the climb, but the route is challenging. And it's an important day for the general classification. We're well placed to take the lead of the general classification. I'm counting on you to give it everything. It's an opportunity we must not miss. We can target victory. We're amongst the favourites. We've got to do what's expected of us. Have a good day, guys. Come on, we're aiming for victory. We are expected to get the victory with Bernal. And you guys will be able to see that tomorrow at the same time, planning for a 1pm release of all these. 
Uh, if you're interested, I might well do a premiere of a couple of these. But uh, should be an interesting stage tomorrow. Again, just an introduction there. And if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and a comment as well. And subscribe for regular Tour de France content. And uh, obviously, if I've made any mistakes during that, let me know down in the comments. And we can improve throughout this Tour de France. But for now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye for now.